Hello YouTube, Jeremy Patrick Martin here, and I'm going to show you how to USB flash drive. Uh, one of the reasons why I walked away from Windows and, and decided to go to Chrome OS and Chromebooks is because it's user friendly and um, it's plug and play. Now, um, one of the reasons why you might be watching this video is that you plugged a USB drive in and nothing's happening and chances are your Chromebook isn't designed to read whatever kind of file space you have on that physical storage device. For example, I just tried to plug in a 128 gigabyte USB flash drive into my Pixelbook, and my Pixelbook ignored it. It wasn't even there. It didn't even fire it up or anything. It just wasn't even there. Now, I got myself a, a, a 1 gigabyte LG USB flash drive and plugged it in and my chromebook loves it it immediately picked it up in fact if you're having problems chances are you don't have a compatible usb flash drive you plug it in and have a little patience and there it goes now when you when you plug it in and it's and it's detected it gives you two options you can just click on it and it'll open up the files app or we can open up settings and you know how I am with settings. Let's go ahead and get the settings out of the way. Go into settings and uh, it says external storage preferences. Apps from Google Play may require full file system access to read and write files on external storage devices. Files and folders created on a device are visible to anyone who used the external drive. Okay, well this is a way to store certain Android application files, but I'm not going to get into that because every Android app is different, but this is how you select it for that. But I'm not going to mess with that right now. That's for another video. So we'll go ahead and close this out, and we're going to go ahead and open up the files. And if you see right down there in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a USB symbol with the word untitled and an eject button right next to it. That is my physical storage device. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on it and it has an Android folder in there because I've already clicked on the Android button once before with it. And it will store, like I said, it, it's for another video, but this is how you do it, how you save Android files on a uh, USB stick. But like I said, I'm not getting into that. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That's for another movie. And now I'm going to, you, you, if you have a trackpad, you, you take two butt, two fingers and you click both at the same time. It's, it, or you right click if you have a mouse and it will pull up uh, your your options on your storage, and you can eject device, you can format device, and you can rename it. I'm going to format the device, and uh, I'm going to go with FAT32 because it's a very popular format. You got other format options, but I'm going to stick with FAT32. Erase and format. There you go. Now it's a fresh, brand new stick. I'm going to I'm going to double finger tap on it again, and then I'm going to hit rename. And I'm going to rename it um, Save Me. All right. Very simple. All right, we're going to uh, minimize the file. And uh, I have a Docs, a, a Google Docs here, and it has not... If you, if you go up into the files, it has not been switched on to be available offline. As, as you can see right here, it, it's, it's asking me if I want to make it available offline. So this thing is still online. In other words, it's not being stored in the, in the physical memory in my Chromebook. But this is how you save a Google Doc and when I say a Google Doc, I mean, I mean any of these right here. 
the document or template or spreadsheet or presentation or a form or a drawing, they all can be downloaded and stored into a USB drive by going to here to download. And when you, when you hover over download, it will give you all kinds of options that are already pre-built inside of uh, Chrome OS also including whatever you have downloaded as an extension from the Chrome store. So in this situation, I have, I can download it as a Microsoft Word, an open document format, as a rich text format, PDF document, plain text, web page, which I've done quite a bit, and EPUB publication. Now, I'm going to I'm going to do this in something that's very popular. So I'm going to pick the PDF format. PDF document. Boop, and I just click on it. And and there you go. A little bit of patience goes a long way. And it says show in folder. Yes, please. And I have here, I have a save me PDF. Let's click on it. And as you can see, it is no longer in the Google Docs um, format. It is, it is now a PDF that is physically being uh, held on my Pixelbook and not in the cloud like this is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this. Oh, no, I'm not going to close this out. I'm just going to minimize it. And uh, now you got a lot of ways of doing this since it's, it's user friendly. You can just, if, if you have a, tr a trackpad, you could take one finger and push down on a trackpad, and you can take another finger and move it around, and then you can like hover over top of it and then drop it in there if you want. Or you can, let me go back to there. Okay, see how, how, it, how it just went back there? That was pretty cool. Uh, or uh, you can right click on your, um, you can right click on your mouse or you could take two fingers on your trackpad and hit them both at the same time like that. And uh, you can cut or copy. Um, let's copy. And we'll go down to, and then I'm just going to double click on save me. And then I'm going to do that double finger tap again on my uh, trackpad and paste. And as you can see down here, it is just physically uh, loaded it into my USB drive, and I got a light on my USB drive. I I use that specifically for uh for USB testing because I can tell when it's thinking, when it's powered up, and all that other stuff. Uh, let's go back into downloads, and this time I'm going. I got a I got a picture here. Uh, yeah, I've been doing fairly good on my on my channel here lately. I'm going to take one finger, push down on a trackpad, take another finger and drag it right on over to save me. Have a little patience, let it hover over top of it and then let it go right over top of it. And as you can see, right, and they give you a quick dismiss, dismiss button. You'd be like, oh no, I don't want it there. And you click that dismiss button. And if you can get it fast enough, you might be able to dismiss it. But um, now, um, before you go yanking that uh, USB out, Chrome OS will get upset at you if you do that. It'll give you a real nasty little message down there saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't just go pulling it out without hitting the eject button. And this right here is the eject button. So if you hover over top of it and click it, you see it completely disappear, disappears from the list of file options and I'm pulling it out now. All right. Now my my USB drive is is physically disconnected from my Chromebook and I'm going to plug it back in again. And always have patience, especially if you only got like 2 gigs or 4 gigs of um of of RAM on your on your Chromebook. I, I got eight gigs of RAM on my Chromebook here, so it moves really fast for me. And as you can see, it came right back up again. The USB stick that I formatted and, and named uh, Save Me. 
And there's the Save Me PDF and the screenshot right there. And uh, and you can pretty much figure out, um, you know, what kind of file options you got just by taking, uh, you know, right clicking on stuff or or just, you know, two finger tapping it. And uh, and if it gives you an option to copy, you can copy, you know, and then you go into there and then and then do the double finger tap again. And if it gives you an option to paste, then you're good to go. Right. You can throw another one in there. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, uh, I hope this helps y'all out a lot and um, have fun with your toys. It's important to be able to uh, move files back and forth between and USB flash drives really do come in handy, especially if you do a lot of office work uh, and uh, be careful out there and Google on.